my name's Aisha. Today I'm going to be reading a book called Unicorn Diaries by Rebecca Ellott with my friend Molly. I'm going to start with chapter two. Chapter two, Unicorn Detectives. Monday. Diary, my friends and I made a shocking discovery this morning. When we woke up, Monty's patch blanket was missing. Don't worry, Monty. We'll help you find it. I definitely had it with me when I went to sleep. We searched our unipod. It must be here somewhere. Then we all searched the forest near our school. But we couldn't find it anywhere. We trolled to Mr. Rumpwinkle to tell him the bad news. And we saw something else super shocking. Mr. Rumpwinkle, your classes look, um, different. Where are your normal ones? Good question. My glasses were on the nightstand when I went to bed. But when I woke up, they were gone. I so I we I'm wearing an old pair. Your glasses are missing too. We told Mr. Rumpwinkle about Monty's blanket. Then we checked to see if anything else were was missing. Nutmeg's slippers had also disappeared. A missing patch blanket, missing glasses, and missing slipper. A thief must have snuck in while we were asleep. asleep. But who would steal that kind of stuff? That is the perfect question to start off our week. Scarlet, you'll see this week will be Detective Patch Week. Work together to solve this mystery, and you will all get a new patch at the patch parade on Friday. Scarlet used her thingamabob powers to magic up detectives' hat and magnifying glasses for all of us. Then we look for clues. I found the first one. Look! The small window at the top of our unipod was open. The thief must be someone who can jump up high. The thief must be someone who, or someone really tall, or someone who can fly. Later, Monty found another clue, Twinkle Tails. There are crumbs over here. We studied the crumbs. Which kind of creature eat carrots? We studied our magical creatures look while, while we ate lunch. Carrots are orange. Orange is the color of fire. And who eats fiery colored foods? Dragons! We came up with a plan. Let's go on a dragon hunt tomorrow. That sounds dangerous. Maybe should we ask Mr. Rumtwinkle? No, if we want our new cat, we're going to solve this mystery on our own. Jed is right. Besides, we won't get close to the dragon. We'll just spy on them to see if they have our stuff. And we'll tell Mr. Rumtwinkle. Sunny and I were too excited to sleep. We never even gone near a dragon nest before. I wonder what the dragons will look like. I bet they're huge and mean. Oh, don't say that. 
I don't want to go if it's too scary. Don't worry, Bo. We'll be together. Diary, I can't wait for the dragon hunt. Chapter 3 Chapter 3 The Dragon Hunt Tuesday, we woke up early to search for dragons. Look! Dragon footprints! We followed the footprints until they stopped. Great! What do we do now? Suddenly, Nutmeg called us. The leaves on these treetops are birds. We started stared up the trees above. I bet a fire-breathing dragon did that. There are lots of burnt leaves. There are lots. Lead the way, Nutmeg. We trolled deep into the forest until we heard a big roar. Orange flames shoot up into the sky. We ducked behind some rocks and peeked over to see. Three huge dragons that were breathing fire and throwing rocks. We found out the dragon nests. We were all a bit scared. My hooves were shaking. We whispered to one another. Wow, dragons must be bigger than I thought it would be. There's no way those dragons can fit through our uni path pod window. You're right. It was silly to think a dragon was a thief. You're right. Great. Can we go home now? Okay, let's go home. As Jack was leading the way home, Piper yelled and leaped into the air. What's wrong, Piper? Someone pulled my tail! We looked around. There's no one else here. Maybe you're just feeling jumpy. After seeing those dragons. Dragons. I know somebody pulled my tail! We kept trolling through the forest. But soon, more strange things happened. A big bunch of leaves flew into Monty's face. Ah, who threw those at me? We heard giggling in the trees above. Yee! Someone's up there. Suddenly, a dragon leaped out in front of us. Roar! Then we saw it was only a little giant pup. He rolled around on the ground laughing. I looked at the dragon pup and realized three things. This little dragon could fly. Number two, he was small enough to fit through our unicorn. He was shooting on a carrot. You're who we've been looking for. The dragon pup smiled and flapped his wings. It seems like he wanted us to play with him. I bet you can catch me. Come back here. We spent the rest of the day chasing the little dragon through the forest. He was fast and very good at hiding. Sometimes he sneak up on us, then fly off again. Ugh, quit pulling my tail! At Rainbow Falls, he leaped and splashed us. This is silly, splash! We're too tired to catch him now, and it's getting late. We just
decided to go home and try again tomorrow. The dragon pup is so naughty. He is. But what if he's not the thief? Huh? Well, we would a dragon pup want ours. Well, why would a dragon pup want our stuff? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's rethink all of our clues. We kept thinking about the clues. And at cloud time, Sunny shared a new idea about the sea. Maybe a rabbit is a sea. What makes you say that? We have found carrot crumbs and rabbits love carrots. They can jump high too. But we saw the dragon pup eating a carrot today. And if the dragon pup didn't steal our stuff, then why did he run away when we tried to talk to him? I don't know. We can't blame the dragon pump, pup unless we know he's the thief. Tomorrow we need to find proof. Now I'm worried he might not solve. We might not solve the mystery and earn our detective badges. Oh, diary! I don't know what to think. We we all want to sleep. Feeling very confused. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like the story. 